Assalamu alaikum, my name is Abdar Reda, I'm 18 years old from Shokoya, Egypt. I'm currently in secondary year 3. I'm really interested in science, so I created a YouTube channel in which I explain different scientific subjects in the four languages that I talk, and it has hundreds of videos. My Google Science Fair project is about the impact of different treatments of the hippocampus on cognition in the human brain in order to reach the best treatment that can restore and enhance cognition. The Hippocampus is a very important part of the human brain because it stores long-term and short-term memories in addition to spatial navigation. So patients with Alzheimer's disease or any other kind of dementia suffer from something called a cognitive impairment. Now, the first part which is attacked by the disease is the hippocampus. So the patient cannot restore information properly or he cannot retrieve the information he had learned from before. So we can say that he loses his ability to learn, which is a pretty big mess, especially when we know that in 2010 there were about 36 million people diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease and other kinds of dementia, and this number is going to quadruple by 2050, so that a person from each 85 persons will lose his ability to learn. The question here is, can different treatments of the hippocampus restore and enhance cognition? I put up a hypothesis for this question, which is, none of the treatments currently used can restore nor enhance cognition except for surgical interference. I conducted a comparative study between the different treatments of the hippocampus currently used like using natural supplements, drug use and surgical interference by transplanting cells from another hippocampus or even transplanting a whole new artificial hippocampus. I noticed lots of observations and reached good new conclusions that can be applied in the future research it was a real change for me and I really enjoyed working on this project and thanks for watching.